Oh, oh boy, is it time? Oh, it, you uh, know it's time. It might be oh, time. Dear. Because, it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all journeys, welcome to the main event. Here is Desert Bus 10 in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia. It's the late night dub Good to always bring that back here. For those of you just joining us, the Late Night Dub Fight is a show that we perform at various conventions and can be viewed at latenightdubfight.com. What we do is we take clips from old TV shows, movies, cartoons, anime, whatever we can get our hands on, strip out the audio, cut it down to a couple minutes, and let these, our dub fighters, dub over them with new audio. Beach had no idea, by the way. He had no idea that we were doing a late night dub fight? Now. Oh. He didn't know we were doing it now. Is he Hi. here? He's here. Okay, great. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Neither did Ben. Well, Ben, you're off the hook for a while. Hey, it worked out. You can do it from where you are. Because hey. I'm driving at 10 a.m., mm-hmm. so I can't stay into Zeta tonight. But you really you really wanted to be here. I did. And you, you, you are one of our most... If one of our yeah, one prolific of our most to prolific. Me. I don't know if I'm any good, but I'm in a lot of them. <laughs> you, you are definitely a veteran dub fighter, and uh, oh, I can't authenticate to the server. Anyway, oh. I'm gonna bring up the clips here. If you'll just give me a moment. Oh, nice joke, Jazz thing. Mmm, my balls. Yep. What? Oh, Classic, okay. Graham. Classic. Remember when that was on like actual TV? Definitely. Oh, yeah. Viral video. Yeah. Several times. A slap job. Many times. Okay, we should probably queue up the first clip, though. Hey, you know what? There's improved downloading in Apple Numbers. Ooh, what a great shot. That's really good. Oof. Oh, the mirror one? Yeah, Ooh, that would have got so yeah. freaky. Wow. You've seen the, uh, the contact one, right? Uh, yeah, that, 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 that's how amazing. how they did it? Yeah. Unbelievable. It's a very good point. The first clip tonight is From the Earth to the Moon. Beg pardon? Uh, it's, it's from a little show uh, that HBO put together called From the Earth to the Moon, produced by Tom Hanks. Okay. As he is wont to do after he does a major motion picture about a thing, he'll usually do a television series. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to need four people for that. Who wants to be in it? Okay, well, Beach. I, I like Beach. Okay. Don't you pick people? I do, but I have so many people here who are interested in joining it. That, uh, you, got one, you got one behind you? Yeah. Pika, okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's, oh, let's, oh, I think I am. am. You'll, you'll jump in as well? Great, that's all we need. So, uh, Beach, I'd like you to be Spaceman number one. Graham, I'd like you to be Spaceman number two. I'm number two! Jer, I think you might know where I'm going with this. Uh, Spaceman number three. Yes. Nailed it. And, uh, and uh, Pika, I'd like you to be Edward R. Murrow. What? Yeah! <laughs> Okay. Hey got, guys, can I first ask you to grab the mics if we're gonna do this? Ooh, oh yeah. yeah. Please. Do so we have enough performance mics? We yeah. have three mics in the room, so two people can share. Maybe I don't need to be mic for this. Two, okay. two, and two. Can, you, can we? Can well, he can have that one. Oh. Who's that? I need Slack. You'll see him. The one point. who's okay. not Spaceman One, Two, or Three. Yep. Yeah. And do you want a seat for this? Sure. Okay, you're gonna make this uh, about. Oh. I'm gonna make this about the music about musical theater. Is the laughing okay. still on? Yes, the laughing is still on. Ah, which is why it's important that I'm on this in this chair right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, just go ahead. Very Alex. You got this. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's me. Ready to go. Chair. Uh, okay. that, that oh, that's me? Okay, yeah. with glasses. Yeah. <coughs> oh, man. <laughs> man, I can't believe they gotta get us. I think that's you, actually. Oh, whoops. Yeah, well, it's not my first time in a fly suit, you know. I did Peter Pan about six years ago. <laughs> no way, I love that show. Yeah. Uh, uh, what about space, though? You, you, ever, you ever been to space before? Or is this your first time doing that? Uh, we're going to space? 
Sure, yeah, we're going to space. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I've never been in a musical production of Apollo 13 before. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we're going to actual space, man. Wait, you mean like, like in a rocket? Like that's why we're in this rocket? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's why we're in these suits. This is where we are. Here's a picture I prepared earlier. Thank you for showing me that picture. Now I have a much clearer I- idea of where it is we're going. I'm going to hold it closer to your face now. I think it's you. Anyway. <laughs> Beep boop. Away we go. I'm the third spaceman. I think that I, I, I think I'm somewhere in here, but I'm not sure because we all kind there of... There you are. Oh, there I am. Hey, hey guys. Yeah, so your cues... Uh, once we turn around... Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, what, okay, wait. So we have to turn around first? Is that what you're telling right, me? Right, and then one of you is going to launch into memory from Cats. We, we couldn't afford our own musical budget, so I'm going to need uh, you to, uh, to improvise with what we, what we have. This is what we can get the rights Which to. Which one of us? Which one of us? I, I don't know. You don't have names. Uh, memories uh, alone in the, the moonlight. <laughs> Did I miss my cue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you, you sing, you sing. Okay, uh, you, you guys are awful. Okay, uh, next, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um. Oh God, I forget the lyrics. Magical Mister Mistopheles. Come on, you can do this. Uh, I I was a cat in an alley once. You're getting it. You're getting it. Now we're on the moon. Cats in space. Cats in space. Cats in boots and cats in boots and cats in boots. All right, space, space, cats. Yeah. Oh, you guys did a great <laughs> job. <laughs> we got there. Uh, okay. So, um, our, when do we get to use the Uh-oh. fly ca- cables? Our uh, well, uh, I have to go to the bathroom, so uh, okay. excuse me while I unhook. Nope, can't reach it. All right. I'm going in my suit now. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to have more of the stage to use, right? Like, are we allowed to use the rest of the stage? I mean, like, you could open it. I'm not wearing my helmet yet, so let me see... If I can see what's out, mm. so it's kind of cratery. You could just stick your foot in a pothole if you tried to dance. Is Sparks my main concern tonight. right now? Uh, I'll do a lot of leaps. <laughs> like no, I, I'm pretty sure that we could do something good though. The gravity is zero. I could put you upside down on the bottom of the shuttle. Oh, that sounds good. I never had to do that before. Am I gonna vomit? Like, only if you take your helmet off, like mine is, then you will be inside out, uh, flying, through the, flying through the space. But I think, I feel like we can open the doors and let you guys have a, a larger playing surface pretty quickly. Okay, that sounds good. I like a lot of like, room to move around whenever I'm doing a musical. Yeah, no, oh, sh- there's something coming at us from above. I'm not, I, I'm not sure what it is. It might be a camera, but it also might be <laughs> something a, sinister. some scrim for a scene change, or... Nobody knows. Because we're doing this Broadway production improvised and live. Fine, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open the hatch. Wah, it's me, Mario. Mario. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'm looking at the screen. I'm, I'm seeing something. It looks like an astronaut. Did did we have those out there? Uh, guys, guys, can anyone update me on this? It's it's. I don't believe we had dudes in space. I don't remember that happening. Just, can can anyone, is anyone listening to me? I have this thing in my ear. I feel like you guys should be listening to me, but I just feel kind of ignored right now. Well, and it's hurting my feelings. Well, that's you, yeah. You're still not answering me. You're I, just I asked around. for soft focus on this lens to make me look 10 years younger. Um, I look, how's it working? Uh, I mean, you look great, but you're still... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that, that was a fantastic clip, but I'm going to give that actually to Pika. <laughs> <laughs> For the best darn Edward R. Murrow impression I've heard. <laughs> Edward R. Mario. Yeah. Let's take another clip here. This one oh, is wow. going to be from Falling Down. And if oh. possible, I'd like to get uh, Alex and uh, Graham on this one. All right. If I could. Amazing. Um, and while, while we get that queued up, I'd like to remind you all of the Keldish... Players set going for $5.55 can get you a bid in there. Only 
41 minutes remaining to get your bid in for that lot of 48 booster packs and a lovely playmat. Defense! What? What? Tackle. Oh, I'm down. Oh! Uh, I don't I think, know the... I figured only Ian would get it anyway. Yeah, well, this, this so is... What's our, what's our seed? This is a clip from the uh, from the Alex Stacy archives. Oh, oh, so I have a... Uh-oh. Maybe I'm fair advantage. You, oh, you might, yeah. But, uh, uh, let's see. Alex, I'd like you to be the other guy. Graham, I'd like you to be the white guy. <laughs> okay, and, what's uh, our seed? I'd like okay. this to be about surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, hi there. So I'm trying to plan this party for my. Why friend. would you make a party? Do it outside. Well, it's his birthday, you see, and I, I just want to make a surprise for them. I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> I thought you could help me. This is a store. Hey. Whoa! Hey, exactly. No, it's a no store. you can't have surprise things. parties in here. It's my store. I want to buy this. Stop and it! Talk to them. America. <laughs> yes. No, you can't. You can't just come into people's stores and try to throw parties. Stop it! I'm not throwing parties to you. Your foot is on my nipple. Thank you. I'm gonna give this to someone. This will be my present. This is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. That no. That's this not... is garbage. I don't want any of those. <laughs> is this how you throw parties? You're crazy. Yes. It'll be a hilarious party for everyone. Everyone's gonna love it. Just don't hurt me. But uh, maybe there's some party favors you could use. There's like ramen packets around here or something. Yeah, over there. Oh, oh, terrific. You could use them as like party poppers. Oh, that well, oh. that just sounds great. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm so glad to have you on side now. Yeah, please with don't my surprise hit party me. idea. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Everything is everything is cool and fine. Just. Take your party. Why do you have street signs inside your store? I, it's uh, confuses me. The, the zoning in this district is weird. Briefly thought I was outside. <laughs> you know how hard it is to find aisle two when you think you're on Corona Street. Oh, I know. I I park inside here all the time. What about these? Are these good? Uh, for parties? Yeah. Uh, it's fine. Go, okay. I mean, they're wrecked now. I don't need fine. I need good. <laughs> uh, maybe try the other corner. There's pro- got to be something you can use at the party. What about these things? How oh, do those, these taste? Those, definitely good. Those will totally work. I don't know. I <laughs> now, now they will hate it. They will hate it now. Man. Whatever I give them has to stand up to a severe batting. Uh, well, those cornflakes aren't going to hold up so good. No? Uh, I just don't... Uh... Uh, okay. okay, I'll leave the cornflake then. Let, nah, actually, you know what? <laughs> you know, I know this is going to happen. Cereal would be a terrible idea to give someone at a birthday party. Well, it's going to be oh. a real bash if you understand Coca-Cola what I mean. Coca-Cola Classic, though. Like that? No, don't. Not the Coke, man. Mm. Please. I, Enjoy. I, I'm right? begging you. Not right? the Coke. Just don't hit the Coke. Mm. Okay. They're probably a sponsor. Here you go. Thank Have your bat back. I'll leave some money here. Thank Put you. This there. That, that that will definitely pay for all the damage you just caused to my. Take business. my change. Good. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah. You know good. your party's no, gonna be sweet. No, they're they're gonna love it. You've been very helpful. I have been. Thank you so much for this bat. And you know you have yourself a wonderful day. I'll try. I will. I I'll will be sure try. to tell my friends what a lovely place you have. That's great. <laughs> See you in court. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the fact that Alex was able to keep a keep it straight through that entire thing. <laughs> yeah. And but Graham, I that voice. <laughs> Thank you. That voice pushes it over it's the good. edge. It's uh-huh. good. All right, let's do another clip here. Let's send you guys to the the money zone. The money zone. We have one of those. No, it's a commercial round. Oh. oh. Trying things out here. Uh, I need three people. I kind of want, um, let's bring Matt in for this if he's down for us. Okay. And let's bring, uh, yeah. let's, you know, let's bring Jer back? Yeah. <laughs> and we need a narrator. Um, who wants huh. to be a narrator? What gift is that from? That's weird. That is weird. I, uh, weird. Uh, uh, I think it's just a... What is that gift from? Sorry. Peach, do you want to quickly be a narrator for this round? Yeah, okay. okay yeah, this is, this is, is a short commercial uh, short for well. rice crackers. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so, sorry. Symphonic Lolita 
notices that guy definitely fell down. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yep. Right, it's so a good, good movie. Don't, don't forget, if, B, if Alex laughs, he gets to drive. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Beach, you'll be the narrator. Uh, let's say Matt, you'll be the woman. Jerry, you'll be the man. Mm -hmm. And we'll make this, make it about rice crackers. Make it about rice crackers. Yeah, okay. why not? Narrator. Hi! What? And the man and the woman. In ancient times, this is how we used to pound out the rice crackers. Late at night. Oh! oh I love to have a, some rice crackers when I'm eating. How about to. Don't you think it's a little, a, a little dry? For rice crackers? Like, don't, don't you want to drink with that? I actually think the drier, the better. Hold on, let me try and find some. Is, uh, there we go, yep, uh, found them. Uh, mm. uh, oh, these are good. Seaweed flavored. Oh, oh my! Um, well... Haven't had anyone like this before. Mm. There was just a bit left here, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. That's how we do it on the cover of the album Dude. Pinkerton. Mm. That's a good rice cracker. Rice crackers. Better than porno. <laughs> Stuff your gob of the rice cracker today. <laughs> Look for the package with the couple making out. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Sexy rice crackers. How to moisten? I need a different adult. Come on, it keeps going. Cut your nails, wash your hands, and gently, lovingly stick your crackers into the bag. What? To cover them with soy sauce or some other sort of sauce that we put in there. Is that what the children call it these days? Oh, no. Deposit some secret sauce over the crackers without hesitation. Close up that bag. Give it a good in rub. silent anticipation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. Soak those crackers with the secret sauce. This is a very long what? commercial. And then they're covered in it. They're slightly dripping. You'll enjoy the flavor of rice crackers, and you'll never ever forget rice crackers ever again. Oh, I get it! It's a sex thing! Ah! Wow. <laughs> that seems like a very cheap commercial to make. Between you and your senbei. <laughs> oh, did you notice me, senbei? Yeah. Just remember the condiments. Yeah, yeah, good, good work, uh, Beach, on uh, setting that up. <laughs> but I gotta give that to Jared for just just committing to the whole bit. <laughs> so I was expecting that to be one of those things where it's like, ah, oh, you think they're doing this, but it, he's actually eating a rice cracker. That never happened. Uh, you, no, you, no, you, you, no. He ate the. You don't know that he, he didn't ate eat something. Yeah. You yeah. ate yeah. a nice cracker. Yeah. Yeah. Bits of rice cracker. Probably rice cracker. Yeah. Well, now it seems like a good time to remind you again that the Kaladesh lot is going for five dollars <laughs> fifty-five cents. Get your bids in today. I should have a mic apparently as well for this. Let's set up the next clip. This one is oh, going to be briefly. Sorry, one thing. Yes, please. Uh, James Portnow is calling in at midnight. Uh, James Portnow of, of extra credits. Uh, so please visit the blog post and put your questions in the comments. All right. What's up the next clip here? This one's going to be from that wonderful anime Sakamoto Desuka. Uh, this is going to be for... I'd like to get... Uh, I'd actually like to get Ben up here if that's possible. Uh, slowly start pulling everybody out of the or, bag. It's fine, he's coming, he's coming. And, uh, Quick additional plug to the port now, Colin. Um, we've got a little extra credit slot. Oh, Ooh, hey. Hey. Giving away. So um, I think it's going to be a donation drive. He's going to pick the number on the call, and then we're going to extend the donation drive to however long we think is good. But it is a t-shirt, a mug, and a fail faster poster. So. Mm. Yes, just so you know. So that's it. Cool. Yay. Okay, so Ben, we've got you. I'd like you You've to be me. a guy who's holding a volleyball. Sounds good. Uh, 
Can Graham, can you do uh, yeah. this one? Uh, I'd like you to get to be a guy who's holding a baseball bat. I have, well, yeah, that's sort of what I'm doing tonight. And then everyone else in the room, if you could just kind of rabble, rabble for the crowd. Okay, I can do that. And your seed is going to be, actually, you know, just do a graduation speech. Okay. I have a ball. <laughs> I have a baseball bat. Uh, Ooh. Uh, ball baseball uh, bat. Ball baseball bat. bat. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Hi. it's been a pleasure to be the president of the school. Ooh. This is how I did it. Back in that game that won us the Tri-State Championship. How is he doing that? I like ball. And this is how you get two balls. I have just doubled the ball capacity at this high school. Already doing this. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. And as you can see, this one is far less superior to our regular one, but it must be from that opposing school. Now, allow me to demonstrate why a ball is called a ball. Can any of you children out there? Oh! You're freaking me out! Oh my god, this guy knows what a ball is! Yes. A ball is a spherical object. It is the pride of our school. You might remember our mascot, Bolly the Balls Guy. But so is a globe! You are correct. I'm glad you've seen a globe before, considering we're graduating from high school. Blow my mind, bro. Now listen, everyone. It's most important that we remember where we are on this globe. Uh, uh, uh. It's you again. Baseball. Oh my god, I think that's the bat guy! <laughs> we never learned his name! I think it's Batman! <laughs> <laughs> I think he knows what a bat hey, get is. Over here, man. Hooda! What? <laughs> That's gonna cost me. Do they not teach you to speak at the rival school or what, bud? Uh, Let's get down! What the boss is happening over here? Hooda! 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 Ah, you must be from the UK. I see you finally have both balls. <laughs> I'm here to take one of them back. <laughs> That's two more than you have, buddy. Are you okay, sir? <laughs> You've incapacitated my father. And I... Shh, listen. I really didn't like him very much, so this is okay. But I need to pretend that I care that my father is dead. <laughs> this guy from the rival school killed my father. Everybody, let's gang up, beat the crap out of baseball Batman. I don't want to do that. Holy no, crap. He's going to bat. No, no, no. not the answer. God, no, guys. I'm, I, damn it, I'm your president. And when I got that ball down, I got us two balls for this school. That means you listen to me when I say we need to genocide the rival school. We need to take them apart, starting with baseball, Batman. Yeah, the one that volleyball's mine. I left it up there years Let ago. me demonstrate how to kill a baseball, Batman, right now. I'm still running at you very quickly. Oops. Dodge it with my MC skills that I learned from Michael Jackson himself. That's right. Then I went to Spain, and I learned how to be a matador. I have skills from all points of the world. You know why? Because I know what a globe is, mother buster. <laughs> now you better watch yourself. Yay! Yay! Japan is superior! All right, listen. We're, 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 let's not go too far. But <laughs> what I really wanted to demonstrate is that through the power of... You no, know, let's listen to her. Why did I stop running more quickly? I've disappeared because I'm a magician. I learned that from Penn and Teller when I went to the States. You, like I said, I've been all over the world. Why am I so bad at this? I'm Batman. This is my whole thing. And then I went to Italy and I learned how to play the piano. I am well-rounded in all the arts. Now come, aren't you planning to effect, attack me? I'm going to try. You can't stop the power of music. I learned that when I went back in time and met Beethoven. Yay! You're a time traveler! I love the classics. <laughs> what a wonderful piece 
this is. Now, I'm going to show you when I was in Cirque du Soleil and I went up into the catwalks and did a whole bunch of jazz. Follow me, friend, and maybe you might learn something. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I'm following you up here, but I will. I left my bat downstairs. I'm sort of this. As you can see, while I was in oh, France, got the I learned again. how to trapeze walk. Ha-ha! Ho-ho! Ha-ha-ha-ha! That's French for ha-ha-ha-ha! You're shattering my whole identity. Watch out, friend. Oh, I don't really want to kill you. Batman! Not at all! What's going on? And then, when I went to Germany, I learned how to be a firefighter. Uh, uh. Don't worry. I won't kill you yet. I mean, yet! Ow. You just hit your own hand. That didn't seem very great. As you can see, I'm not really talking with my mouth. That's because when I went to Russia, I learned telekinesis. <laughs> ha! And then I w- also met Colossus and learned the iron body technique. <laughs> nothing hurts me. Uh, no- nothing hurts me! <laughs> ah! Nothing hurts me! <laughs> Everything hurts me! <laughs> My friend, we've bonded throughout this experience. My whirlwind journey across the world brought us together. (laughs) Just drop me onto the piano. I'll never let you down. I will never let you down. Just let him down. He's singing. Let you down. Memories. Let you down. Lol, JK. Uh, <laughs> and then I went and joined a nudist colony and learned how to do this one. What? That's right. Whirlwind journey. This is called the thigh clench, pant clench technique. I promised you. Oh, just sorry. Got to do up my zipper there. Zip. Everything is okay. We saw his butt. And this is why our schools need to be friends together forever. I agree. Wow. Ooh, that was well, fun. What in the hell was any of that? <laughs> I don't know, but I want to watch this anime now. <laughs> it's super good. Full pro- Is this the one where he plays like the arm saxophone thing? Yeah, yeah, like a where he's, just good, he's just good at everything. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, full props to Ben on that one for just carrying that scene from start to finish. What a son of a boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a couple more clips left here. Let's roll wow. right along into this one, which is for... I'm, you know, who wants... Mm, who do I want to put into this? I, everyone can be in it, but I kind of need a lead. I kind of want Matt actually to take the lead on this one if he's oh. willing. Okay. Um, Matt, you're going to be... I don't know how to describe him, oh but he's the first person that shows up, and then everyone else can be everyone else in the room. Because it's kind of crowdy first street. dude, okay. Yeah. And do you, you need a seed for this? Let's... Sure. Uh, let's make this about getting a good night's sleep. Huh. And this is a clip from Golden oh. Bat. Uh, from what? Oh, wow. Ooh. Hold up. Hold up. Up it up it up. Oh. There we go. I love that what got you was you going, <laughs> Yep. Like it, was, <laughs> it was a, a b- supremely benign chuckle. Yep. Well, he talked about getting a good night's sleep. I <laughs> couldn't deal with it. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm in for here. Go ahead. Oh, look at that dog. Oh. Like what? Uh, oh, wow. And everyone else. Maybe, maybe someone can pick up the beard guy. I don't know. Beard guy. Yeah. Beard guy. Yeah. Beard guy. Beard guy. Beard guy. You want to be the beard guy? Oh. Just stand. Oh. Da-da. Oh. Da-da. 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 Oh my god, I... What is that? Oh my god. I am not ready for company, you guys. It is like 6 in the morning. What are you doing? You, you said you to come br- over at 6. You, you brought me coffee, right? Oh. I thought oh. you... Only oh. decaf tea. What? You're going to pay for it. It's 6 in the morning. Why would you bring decaf tea? I thought I would help your 
stomach? I'm sorry. No, no, this is not cool. I, yeah. I have no. not had a good oh. enough sleep oh. to be oh. dealing oh. with this number of people. Oh. Get out of my apartment. Oh. Oh. Osha would not I, stand for it, this. I will talk to you guys later. Come on now. I, like, I haven't even had a shower yet. Apparently someone hasn't gone to the bone zone in a while. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in space. What are we doing in space? No, I'm serious. Somebody has to answer me. Why are we? I don't we... know how I got here. Why are Why are we here? Why what are we doing in space? Why aren't we over there? Is that where we are? I mean, you seem. I, you see, we're going to all of these planets at the same time. Whoa! Look at that. You never expected to see me. Oh me! Oh, oh, oh. You're right. I didn't expect to see you. Gun. Watch out, ninjas. <laughs> ninjas with guns. <laughs> I'm melting! I'm... Why am I here? Where? Why? What? <laughs> now I'm Planet of the Apes. This is a very existential film. <laughs> Supercar! <laughs> Thrill as the Earth splits in twain. Ah, why are we all... See, we shouldn't be here, the Earth's splitting. This is why I got the tea. That's but it was decaf! <laughs> <laughs> like, just come on! Green tea naturally has less caffeine than other teas. You can't complain about this. And it still has a little bit of caffeine, you know? Look, look what it did to the planet. No! <laughs> you have to at least look at something. <laughs> Or can't you see out of that ridiculous mess? Tune in this summer for breakfast at Wiggins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you all, you all got that. I have to drive again. Because <laughs> yeah. you broke me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Just look at what it's doing to the planet. No! <laughs> Whoa! Well, well, uh, oh, my. Oh, I, oh. Like, what are you doing this? <laughs> okay, like, but we what do you do when you're talking to a villain? You're like, just look at what you're doing to this planet. No! <laughs> I, no, F, no. I, well, um, yeah. So that's a straight up Wig- Wiggins victory. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Uh, we've got on the couch here. Hey, what's up? Okay, um, this, ne- this is our last clip actually here. And it is for four of you, maybe five, I'm not really sure. It, it was. Well, well, there's a lot of prep that's happening beforehand. This is a clip from uh, Youth Legal Rights, which operates a uh, website on youth legal rights. You don't say. Huh. Um, let's say here, uh, Beach. Yeah. Can I get you to be the kid with the bandana? Okay. Um, ben, can I get you to be the other kid who shows up? Yes. Uh, Jordan, do you want to be in on this? Sure. I think there's a oh, third kid. kid. Maybe a, uh... <coughs> Actually, Jordan, can you be the principal? Okay. And Graham, can you fill in any parts I might have forgotten? Uh, okay. Um, I, Jordan probably wants it. Yeah. And like I said, this is from uh, your seed. Left. Your seed... Can I'm trying to pull something out of the chat here. Your seed is about beginning high school. Kid with a bandana. So we've graduated, but now we're going back to the beginning of high school. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Who was that? Yeah. Please. Oh, okay. Third right. kid. Principal. So um, Graham, Graham, you'll be the third kid and the cops. <laughs> okay. Don't look at my locker. Don't look at my locker. What was the Whoa. seat again? Uh, going to high school. Okay. Hi, I'm Ruben. You probably wondered how I ended up like this. Oh, man, I should go back to high school. What? Man, I wasn't ready for my first day. What is... Whoa! Did hey, it, did, Chancy! I, I, it's the first day? I Apparently so. Why is everybody moving at lightning speed? I'm 45. Hello. I'm a fellow student, just like you are. Goodbye. Man, I was so perplexed by that guy that I ran into earlier. Was he 45? Was he not 45? Was he some other age? Hey, look, it's the principal. Why is my prince? Why is my dad in the cops with the principal? This has got to. I, I'm so confused right now. I'm a, I'm a range of emotions that I just can't describe. Sup? <laughs> Man, it's that weird kid who keeps following me around. Maybe it's best I don't look at him. Come oh. and vape with me, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you have any idea how many levels of irony I'm on? <laughs> it's like I wasn't even he was, here. He was a ghost the whole time. It's just another day at Ghost University. That's also a high school. Ever since we got rid of all the other countries, the globe's been mighty lonely. You're right. There's only one high school left, University High. Let's go talk to the principal, who is also my dad. Maybe he knows what's going on and why you're some sort of ghost haunting the world. Your dad's a cool dude. I bet he wants the no, best for you. No, not really, but look, he's got like tinfoil on his head. Dude, I don't think that's okay. You should talk to your dad about getting his colors done somewhere else. I don't think he needs highlights at his age. Man, now we're here. You're some sort of teleporting ghost. I just wanted to show you what it's like when a car parks in the middle of your high school. Vape police. <laughs> ah! <laughs> See, if you hadn't have vaped all this time, you probably would have been okay. Got any facts? But I thought, kid? I thought vaping was cool. Everybody's doing it these days. I mean, vaping is pretty cool, you're right. But we're too young to vape. I know this. Man, my dad vapes all the time. Can't you... I can tell from the way he wears that tinfoil on his head. You know you have your own legal rights to attend to? Let me break them down for you. Number one, when you have stuff in your locker, you can yell, Don't look in my locker! Damn, that's cool. Yeah, and then, by law, a cop has to tell you if he's going to look in your locker. It's the law. Want to know some other stuff? No, you yeah, don't. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I only know a few things. So, you're saying vaping causes your hair no, goodbye, to grow in as tinfoil? Goodbye, keep holding goodbye. your goodbye. legs here. Thank you, officer. We had a serious vaping problem. The kids are using LSD. Man, who would have known vaping was bad and caused you to leak metal from your head? I gotta go confront my dad right now. Hey, dad, you look stupid. What was that, son? How dare? Whoa. Did you just float over here? Is my dad a ghost, too? Whoa! Got Whoa. a jet! Uh, dad. Vape gives you wings, my boy. You can do anything with the power of juice. Uh, well, I mean, I prefer the power of friendship. Juice, son. Get that cotton. But... Hey, you're back. Why did you just ditch me like that, ghost friend? It looked like I was some sort of loser loner. I had to clear about three kilos of pot out of my locker. Uh, don't tell your dad. What? <laughs> you're so lame. I smoke pot because that's what all the cool kids do because it's legal now in most of the Man, states. you realize that some, some people might be overdubbing this at some point and maybe talking up in front of a bunch of children on a children's charity. It would be really awkward if you talked about how cool marijuana is in front of children, don't you think? That would be really messed up. <laughs> it sure would. But quite frankly, at this time of night, I don't really care anymore. Here, why not have a Bible? It's where I, it's where I keep all of my paraphernalia. You're right. If approximately at 11.47 p.m. they watch this... Uh, they don't have to take anything yeah, I'm that's saying right. seriously. That's right. Only cool kids watch. That's right. Only the cool, coolest kids are watching. Oh, I've night. learned so much today. That pot is cool only at 11.47 p.m. <laughs> and then my dad wears tinfoil on his head that grew out because of vaping. That's right. Now get in my time-traveling locker. We're going to go back in time and show what it was like six hours ago. Do you want to get in my locker? <laughs> if I... Come on. Maybe. Get in my locker. <laughs> You're really, you're really close right now. I want to... I, I just don't feel really comfortable with this. I want to go on a trip with you. I want to go on a trip with you back in time to six hours ago when we first came to school and everything was all right. I, and the police weren't here. And your dad... I thought we were going to go back in time to the dinosaurs and see if they vape too. That would really get to the bottom of this question, don't you think? <laughs> that would explain all of the smoke coming out of the volcanoes. Yeah. The whole earth used to vape. Let's just pretend my dad isn't there. We're God friends. damn it, why do you, you keep... Buy? Man, oh, this is how many friends I really have. All right, he tells me this is some sort of time-traveling locker. It's my locker. What's in your it? locker, son? Now, push, push him in the locker. Push my locker. God. It's full of bees. Oh, man. Now I'm in the time period where, <laughs> where I, my dad turns me into the cops. This is the worst time. Yep, it's man. a Ziploc bag of vape. <laughs> I swear, kilos. officer, I've never seen that vape before. Man, if only my friend Danny Phantom were still here. Oh, well. <laughs> Tough luck, Sith Lord! <laughs> oh. 
Danny Phantom <laughs> Joe. <laughs> really? I, I had to stop myself at the end there. <laughs> Eleven forty-seven oh. glazing. Eleven forty-seven <laughs> glazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I know what the next number we're gonna use is. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Ha. Mm. Wow. That sure was a thing. That was a good wow. time. Wow. Get that tattooed on my face. I, I, you know what? We're all winners. Mm. Just, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see the microphone on the arm of the chair, so I just saw you swing an empty mic arm. It's like, oh, I should make sure this is close to my mouth. I appreciate the thought, though. <laughs> That was the end of the late night dub fight for this year. Woo! Thanks so much for joining us. Check us out at latenightdubfight.com, but not until you've enjoyed the rest of this year's Desert Bus for Hope. Yeah. Good heavens. Is your